occasionally uh, economists have a good idea. And uh, 25, whatever, years ago, uh, although I don't think we are that old nowadays, uh, you know, we, <laughs> we had one, uh, there are usually some elements of uh, luck and uh, you know, uh, uncertainty around it. We actually met on a riverboat in Vienna uh, attending some conference. Uh, Josef actually escaped from communist Czechoslovakia to know. see how uh, uh, conferences were done you know, in the western part of the uh, European continent. And, uh, and we sort of were there, you know, talking, and we said, you know, maybe uh, things will change here, and uh, this region will need um, a new generation of economists. And so we put our efforts together, and uh, the rest is history. <laughs> I will speak to yes, this. Yeah, okay. So, as I can see, most of you don't remember um, the time, but... Um, you know, uh, economics uh, did not exist uh, in this part of the world. Uh, what has the name uh, economics? It was uh, ideologically biased propagandistic discipline uh, which uh, served only to support uh, the, uh, the ideology of the communist system. So for us, the main challenge connected not only with the education but with the general reform of the state and uh, especially economic reform uh, was to start the standard mainstream uh, economics and to start uh, from the education. So this was the idea, but uh, it was quite simple idea, but uh, extremely difficult uh, beginnings. Uh, very few people understood what we wanted to do. Uh, very few people understood not only the idea to teach uh, the modern economics, but also the idea to create international and open institution. Despite the fact that the Charles University in which we started the search was founded by uh, by uh, the Emperor Charles as the open regional university, open for many nations in the region. It was extremely difficult to convince also even academic community to create a really open uh, international institution, English-speaking institution. But uh, our dream was not connected with the 25 years. My personal dream at that time was to see the first PhD graduates here from, from the search and um, uh, to, to be here to celebrate the 25th anniversary of, uh, of this institution is for me uh, really uh, extremely, uh, uh, extremely important um, fulfillment of uh, all my dreams connected with uh, our activity at that time. So. I must say we've uh, you know, faced various obstacles. I remember one of the first ones we went to a very enlightened, the first post-revolutionary rector of Charles University, um, uh, Radim Palos, who welcomed us, but you know, he looked us in the eye and said, is economics a science? And <laughs> I was ready for a lot of questions. This wasn't one of them. So you know, think quickly on your feet and you say, well, you know, we have theories, we test hypotheses. He says, OK, fine. I just abolished the Institute of Marxism-Leninism so you can take over the building there. So that was, that was the beginning, really beginning. And I must say, you know, very quickly, actually, the colleagues from the Academy of Sciences, Professor Zahradnik, who was the chairman of the Academy, and Paches and others came in and said, you know, would you actually be willing to uh, extend what you're doing uh, also to the Academy of Sciences. We agreed and uh, launched the EI part of Search EI and worked together to bring it together. Josef actually took a short leave of absence to be the longest serving Minister of Foreign Affairs in uh, Central Eastern Europe in that time in the 1990s. So there were lots of things that were being done at the time. And of course, um, the students and faculty you know, were terrific and are terrific and the executive and supervisory committee 
that join to set and maintain the standard and the foundation board members of both foundations and many other friends and colleagues. And I would just uh, say for those of you who were from the first cohorts of students who are here, you know, it was a tough thing. As Josef says, it was, uh, well, we were wondering whether the students would really graduate, but the students correctly were saying, we don't see anybody above us. We don't see the second year, third year, fourth year. We have no idea what kind of jobs you tell us. There will be, you know, wonders, but uh, how are we to tell? So there was a lot of trepidation, a lot of uh, risk taking, but you've all made it happen. So I think we should all celebrate. It's 25 years. <laughs>